YouTube, Ace here, and we are back with our Let's Play of Command & Conquer Red Alert 2. So, we just, uh, in, our last, in our last mission, we ended up uh, building the Chronosphere in the Florida Keys, and we also ended up destroying some nuclear missile silos that were stationed in Cuba, which is good. And I think this is actually going to be the last mission of the Allied campaign, so let's get to it. Just gonna let this play like normal. You know, he served his country well, a proud American. And I know Carville would have been proud to see you succeed him as Commander General of the Allied Forces. General, we need you to take us the rest of the way. Next stop, the Kremlin. Special Agent Tanya has the job of moving inside the Kremlin and finding You know, Romanoff. I think we they're supposed to the fire three volleys control. rather than just one like that, but... And also, that's not the... Remember, Never we're still mind. number three to one, so we'll be marching everyone we can through the Chronosphere and the Keys. Once they appear in Russia, they're all yours, Commander. Take the Kremlin, Commander. Let's end this war. Alright, so let's get to it. Commander, reports from our Chrono troops in the field indicate you are all clear. They're ready to receive your MCV. So we got that dealt with, that dealt with. New construction options. Get some move, get some uh, barracks up. Construction Build some more engineers. Preferably two of them. Or refinery, that should get some more stuff going. Bad news is the enemy starts with both iron curtain and a uh, nuclear missile which is extremely bad news for us okay and my watch goes off again of course it does uh. Sorry, guys. Alright. Let's just ignore it for now. And. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's the only way to really deal with it at this earliest stage right now. And they, of course, give me an apocalypse tank right at the beginning, of course. However, do you seem to... Ooh, we got it. Not bad. Now, I have every expectation that they're going to be giving us some... They're going to give us some trouble in the form of... Uh... Sorry. They're going to give us some trouble in the form of some Kirov, so we're going to have to deal with those. And the way we deal with those is we are going to build some Patriot missile systems that overlap, so they can't really hit us that easily. So we do have a good news, bad news situation. The good news is we do have lots of good units here. The bad news is we're going to need a lot more than this. Uh, I'm mostly going to focus on building next. There's some tower there. We're gonna need rocketeers. 
New rally point established. Build and another barracks. Unit ready. Okay. Construction complete. Building. Okay, so good. Two chrono miners should be perfectly fine with this. Construction complete. Unit ready. Building. All right. So once we get that built, there we go. You're gonna build a battle lab. We are building a little bit too quickly. I, I guess you could argue. However, kind of need to get this stuff built. Up. Just kind of need to get everything finished as soon as possible. So. We do need to scout, which is... We're going to lose some guys, unfortunately, but... Okay, we were able to find some good ground that we can use. That's very good news. Alright, that's not so good. However, we did find this ground right here, which can be extremely useful for bringing in our new units. Oh, get these guys back here. There we go. Alright, as soon as the battle lab is done... You guys are group two. Ooh. Somehow I suspect they're gonna try to use one of these. Ooh. kill those guys really quickly and of course they iron curtain one of them so they can't die awesome Get back. okay so battle lab built good let's get some prism tanks going. Okay, so here's my strategy. I'm going to try pushing through here to try and deal with the things. And then... And we're going to build the ore or purifier. Okay, so once we deal with these guys, it'll be a simple matter of just... Come on. Good, we've wrecked that. And they're sending in V3s just to ruin my day. Awesome. Ooh, what? That seems to work. Now deal with these guys. Really? You guys are a bunch of... Apocalypse tank. Gotta kill that. Alright, we'll just kill... Come on. Okay, build some Chrono Legionnaires. We'll need those, definitely. Good. Yeah, 
kill that guy. Okay, good. That's bad. Alright. Let's see. Gets in there. We can... Come on. At least we managed to push all the way over to here, which means with a little luck and some a little bit of luck and some should be able to remove that thing. That's bad. Are we able? To, uh, no, I don't think we were. That's bad news. However. As soon as we get that taken care of, let's see. I need a war factory first thing. Without a trace, I'm gone. Their history. That's one down. Without a trace. Kill this one, and finally we'll be able to move on to that again. Okay. Of course, ooh, I can build some more. That's good. I will build more. Unit promoted. Construction complete. New rally points established. Alright, war factory finished. There we go. Air Force Command, I'll build that. Unit ready. You genius. That works. Unit ready. New construction options. Building. Unit promoted. Their history without a dream. You know, I'm perfectly fine with them doing that so long as they can just remove stuff. Construction complete. Good. Without that, I think we're in business again. They can't launch any of their missiles. Rocketeers, and now Building. IFVs, and now Unit ready. New rally points established. Unit ready. Got a steady flow. Check out the view. Unable to comply. Building in progress. Okay, so the Unit ready. there, there, and Unit ready. Good. Alright, so, now that we've gotten this part of the base dealt with, we can move on to the other part. Construction complete. Once we kill off the Kirov, obviously. So, definitely need a new construction yard. On hold. 
or MCV. The reason we need it is so he does not ruin our day with... Okay. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. There we go. Could have been a lot worse. Better fall. I'm gonna send these guys back just for safety. That dealt with, we can move on to these guys. Definitely need to consider garrisoning these buildings because they really do like going through there. So what I'm going to do is build a whole bunch of GIs. I should do some spies. Warning, iron curtain activated. That's bad. Unit ready. Sir, yes, sir. And wait. Our base is under attack. Really? Repairing. Just kill that guy. Structure garrison. Unit promoted. Unit ready. All right. Surely they've got one guy running around that we can. The dog will do fine. There we go. Now we will find out where their uh, stuff is and just Building. wreck it. Now, as far as other stuff, Building. I'm actually in a position where I can do something. That's awesome. Crap! Just kill the dog. I don't think so, Pally. There we go. That should give us a good little advantage now that we've got veteran units. It is unfortunate that the dogs are still there, but we can fix that. Okay. Unit 
Good. That'll do for now. That dog will work for now. Okay, so the plan is we'll infiltrate there, figure out where the rest of their defenses are, and deal with them. Good. Here off. Unit lost. Building infiltrated. New technology acquired. Or minor under attack. Unit ready. Unit promoted. Building infiltrated. New technology acquired. New construction options. Desolators. Ooh. All right, we'll get five more of these Chrono Legionnaires in because they do seem to be working their magic. Good. The barracks built. Good. Another small base out of the way. We can move on to the next one. Ooh. There we go, that's another base dealt with, well, or another refinery dealt with at least. Okay, good. We're gonna figure out what exactly is here. Looks like there are some things that we can actually do with. Just saunter over there. That'll work well for you. <laughs> Wait, what? That's bad. Unit 
insufficient funds. Good. All right. What? Get the heck out of there if it's a problem then. Ugh. Ooh, that has to be repaired. Fall back. High speed, low drag. Closing in. Unit lost. And that stuff was good. All right. I think I can probably slip through here, destroy the Tesla coil, and that should be enough to deal with this. Fortunately, I have... Ooh. Slip out of... Alright, so we will destroy this Tesla coil, and that should be all that we really need to deal with most of it. Except that's not how it's going to work, because... Well, maybe it... Wait, what? What was destroyed? I hate those... Let's see, what all was destroyed? Um... go. That should hopefully be the end of that. go. Yes, Water, iron curtain activated. Without a drink. Yes, That's a problem. Hopefully that's... ooh. There we go. 
you. We will then just move in and try to deal with this threat over here. Let's... Really? Ah! That's a problem. However, we still managed to defeat most of what counts for now. Okay, so what needs to be... Ah, uh, they wrecked everything! Grr. Sold. Okay. Ooh, that's bad. Unit report. Securing position. Yes, sir. Weapon ready. Bound forward. Structure abandoned. Unit lost. Why are you? <laughs> I said attack that target. You. <laughs> Let's see, what else is left? Alright, so can, what can I afford to get rid of? Um, afford to lose one of those for Structure now. Sold. Unit ready. Need a repair? Analyzing schematics. We'll get that. You know, I think I could probably sneak in with these guys and probably kill off the Yuri there, which would be extremely useful at this point. Of course there is a guy there. Need to kill that tank right now. Okay, that's dealt with. Need a repair? Got the plans right here. Need a repair? Got the plans right here. All fired up. Pushing away. Got a steady flow. It's a nuclear device. I'll take the high road. Oh, there is one there. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. This is really going to take a while. Ooh, that's bad. How are they keep how are they still able to keep making more tanks? They must have another war factory somewhere around here that I'm not seeing. Okay, so I'm going to find it with the spy spatula. Ooh. Got to pull back. Got to pull back. I've got the knowledge. So you go up there. Someone, you need to repair that. Ooh, that's bad. Of course they decided to destroy that. Now where is this war factory? Oh, there's one. So that's probably it right there. And there's the other part of the mystery. Alright, so if we can just... It shouldn't even be that difficult. Just one Chrono Legionnaire is all I really need. So, I 
wonder if my paratroopers could make it slip in there. That would be pretty useful. Also slip in a few here, and that should be... Actually, you know what? Screw that. We'll just use this prism tank here and destroy that. If we can knock out their power supply, it'll automatically do a good uh, chuck, a uh, good ton of damage. Are you freaking kidding me? Just use those things and kill him. Where's the... I know... I know there's one Yuri here, but where's the other? There we go. Just remove this. Reinforcements ready. Well, that works. Hopefully this is enough to actually knock out their power. Okay. And it is! So they cannot actually counter us anymore like that. So I can free up that guy. Got that dealt with. I got Insufficient funds. Do we have another Chrono Legionnaire on the way or not? All fired up, right in the Ready to roll. Outstanding. Driver up. Ready to show up. Good, it seems to be working. There we go. That's another one down. Now we can focus on... So what do we wreck first? We'll start with that trooper right there. Come on. I have made a terrible mistake. But that works. Yeah, I don't think so, pal. I know what your plan was. And we will just deal with you the good old-fashioned way. Freaking Yuri's everywhere. Well, while we might be at a bit of a... What? What is hitting us? Oh, a flat track. We'll just kill it with one. There we go. Now, you guys will kill Yuri and the Tesla Trooper here. Come on, you know you want to. There we go. Bye-bye! <laughs> 
Nice. Now that we've got that out of the way. You guys are now group two. I have the tools. Got the plans right here. Good. Ready to roll. Let's see, where do we need to get take these guys? Good to go. Go over there and get some. There's some fresh ore over there. Okay. So what is our next well? Power is out there, that is good. So theoretically speaking, if we what we need to do is to put these guys over here. Get, get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! No, 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 no! Oh, that works. Good. We definitely needed that. What? Oh, God! Freaking apocalypse tanks. It's not even that there's a lot of them left either. That's the worst part. <sighs> okay. You go and kill that tank. Good. So I think what I can do Select target. for my strategy is going to, my strategy is going to be as such. First, you two kill this tank and bring it to, bring its tank days to an end. Then we are going to find a way to destroy the their elite guard. We are going to have them all first teleport there. Get some infantry pair dropped in. Wonder if you can garrison the criminal. That would be hilarious if we could. Okay. Alright, so I think three or five of you guys and all could do the job. But we'll drop some infantry just to make the make extra sure that things do not go completely south. Okay, so this is the plan. You guys distract them. You guys move in for the kill. Unit lost. Unit ready. It seems to be working. And while we're at it, weather machine, because why not? Incoming transmission. Okay. Well, Commander, I have learned it is never a good idea to play around with the forces of nature. But with this evil Romanov running loose again, we have no choice. This weather control device provides very advanced manipulation of the weather patterns. These are God's toys, Commander. Use them wisely. Alright, we can finally just put an end to it once and for all. Awesome. That should be it. That was a very, very interesting match, to say the least. How we managed to pull through is a mystery to me. Well, it's a... I think we won.
This should be interesting. Yay! We won! Where's Romanoff? After months of brutal fighting, Allied forces have captured Soviet Premier Romanov and his Kremlin command post late this afternoon in a dizzying show of high technology and good old military discipline. Much of the credit for the amazing success of the Allied campaign goes to a little-known commander from... Wow, we actually still managed to be it in under par time. That's actually pretty good. Uh, but boy was that a nail biter at times. Yeah, and we made it to theater commander. So yeah, I guess that means we're on the level of, say, General Eisenhower. That's good. Well, let's continue. When you're done patting yourself on the back, I have a little proposition for you. The president has invited you, us, to his victory gala at the White House tonight. I thought maybe you'd want to ride. Just listen for the sound of the healers. Oh, and for heaven's sake, get the showers, soldier. Oh dear me. <laughs> so yeah, that was Command and Conquer Red Alert 2. Uh, well, at least the Allied campaign of it. Definitely an interesting game, I must say. So anyways... I guess I can let the credits play through here as normal. Um, I will end up doing the Soviet campaign. First, I'm going to do an offshoot video. Uh, if you're curious about the Yuri's Revenge expansion pack, I will get to it eventually. What I'm thinking of doing uh, to spice things up a little bit is after I'm done with the base Soviet campaign, I am going to be doing a let's play of a completely different game. I've already thought of what game it's going to be, and to give you guys a little bit of a hint um, or of what to expect it is a it's gonna be a first-person shooter so there is that it's also came out in 1999 and it was act while it itself did not sell a lot of copies uh, it only sold about 20,000 copies it did lead to another much more well-known franchise and sadly, there's no Let's Plays of it I can actually find. No full Let's Plays. Anyways, you can see it, a mission or two, so no full Let's Plays. So it'll be interesting, I suppose, to see how that goes. Uh, since, since unless somebody decides to get the right idea to do it before me, this is probably going to be the first true Let's Play of this particular game. I'm not going to spoil what it is right yet. But I think you guys will probably be pleasantly surprised. So, it'll be interesting, I suppose, I hope. Uh, with regards to this, we, uh, well, like I said, we are going to be going with the Soviet campaign uh, after this, and after a completely off-topic video, just, again, to break the, up the action a little bit. And Soviet campaign's going to be a bit interesting. Uh, in my personal opinion, I typically remember the Soviet campaign a lot better than I remember the Allied campaign. The Allied campaign, as you guys can probably tell, is still a lot of fun, of course, but there's a lot of uh, extremely memorable missions in the Soviet campaign. Some for perfectly innocent reasons, we'll say. Others because of, well, world events that have happened since this game came out. It originally came out, keep in mind, in October of 2000. The expansion came out in October of 2001. So just keep that in mind when we, when we get into the Soviet campaign because there are some things that need to be, well, understood. Anyways. But yeah. So we're going to, I guess, let this play. I'm not entirely sure just how long the credit roll is on this, although it looks like we are actually getting to the bottom of it.
Well, we'll we will see. Yep, that is it. So I will see you guys again soon. Take care. Peace out.